What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Black and White 2. Last time, I don't even remember, I think we we got to uh, Opelucid City. Yeah, we did some Team Plasma events, that's what it was. And now we're going to be heading on to, I don't really know the name of this town, but this janitor dude that was preventing us from going on before will actually let us go through this time and we can proceed through to the watery tunnel of awesome. Look at this place. Like a, like a 3D gelatin, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Look at the 3D gelatin, there's a basculin over there. That is really nice looking, look at that gelatin right there. Floating overhead. That is really cool. And the basculin too. I think there's actually waylords that come by every once in a while, but I'm not seeing one right now. So we're just gonna head right through this tunnel. What are, what are these two people here? I actually did not notice them before, but they apparently don't do anything, so let's just head right through the tunnel, and we are actually going to be taking on the gym of this town, whose name I really don't remember. I remember the, the name of the gym leader is uh, Shizui, and uh, apparently his English name is now Marlin, so we're going to take on the gym leader Marlin, and I don't really know the j name of his town, but that will probably be in the title of the video. So anyway, heading over here, we'll notice that uh, Tommy is here. How are you doing, Tommy? And yes, I did do a little bit of uh, progressing forward into the game. I actually went and took out all the trainers down here, uh, but that's because we're going to be going down there later on. But we actually need to find the gym leader before we can challenge him, and he is going to be right here. Whoa! Hey, it's the freaky fish guy. How you doing, Marlin? Oh man, it's got an awesome tan. I don't even know what's wrong with this tan, to be honest, because it, it literally just comes from like the waist up and... It's a really weird tan, but let's go into his gym, and it is actually a pretty nice gym. It's got some nice peaceful music in it, it's got some nice lily pads and fountains everywhere. It's like a little bit of a lake, and it looks really nice. I really like the design of the gym. Um, and it is a water type gym, so they're going back to, you know, the all-powerful water type gyms, which is pretty cool. We haven't had a water type gym since, like, I don't know. Well, did, did we actually... I know, I know in 4th gen there was Crash or Wake, but I mean, like, as the last gym... Uh, we had Juan and Wallace being the last gym leaders in, uh, Hoenn was it? Yep, Hoenn. I was about to confuse Hoenn for some reason, but anyway, I actually got rid of Electro Ball on the, uh, on the electric spider there, Lil B. I am kind of regretting it because it was, a, it was a good move. I don't know why I got rid of it, to be honest, but I'm kind of regretting it, um, because I know that this gym leader is actually going to have a Waylord at one point. So it's kind of disappointing that I got rid of it. Anyway, we're going to switch back on to Lil B here for this man time because I think we can actually take this thing out with like one bolt switch. Uh, but I did notice, I do know the TMs that I want and I know what, where you can get them now, so that shouldn't be a trouble. Um, I am actually going to be switching the EXP share out of Japan here because Japan is already level um, 49, so that is really high level. I wanted to kind of benchmark my Pokemon at around level 50, so... Uh, let's head up here, and yeah, you might notice the little lily pad kind of puzzle going on here. So next up, we got this girl, who we're going to battle up next, and next up, and up next, and I don't even know. But she shakes her butt in your face, and she's got an alomomomolo. I can never say that. Alomomola. And it is, I don't know, I don't know why a momolola. God, I can't say it. I don't know why a Lomomola actually exists, because it just feels like a an evolution to Love Disc, but it's not, and it's just kind of like, you're, you're a waste of a Pokemon, dude, why do you exist, like, what is your purpose here in this, in this place, I don't know, but I actually mistook the, or misclicked the, um, return there instead of Leaf Blade, so couldn't take it out earlier, but there we go, we beat her, and that is nice, and I don't know why someone gained a boost at EXP, oh, it's because, uh, I do have the Lucky Egg on Lil B, so, uh, this will actually lead you back to the entrance of the gym, which we don't want to do, so let's head this way now. And over the nice little bridge. I actually could never figure out how to get to that little boy there, but I know that we're supposed to take this one, uh, this lily pad this way, and that is going to take us over here where we can battle this chick. How are you? Please battle me, because I want some more experience out of you guys. I want to leech the experience out of you. But uh, yeah, I do want to kind of benchmark my Pokemon at around level 50 before the Elite Four maybe level 55 before the Elite Four, uh, but around level 50 after this gym, because I know there's a couple of routes that we can do uh, before the main Team Plasma event, and I kind of want to get the Pokemon to... What is he going to use next? I don't know, but I'm going to switch back to Lil... Oh shit, I can't switch back to Lil B. Oh wait, he's about to switch out anyway, so I can switch back to Lil B, that's dumb. 
Uh, so he's gonna go to Waylord, which I know that the Gym Leader actually has a Waylord of his, of his own, so that's why Electro Ball may have actually been helpful to keep on Lil B, but I unfortunately got rid of it, so can't really do anything about that anymore. I don't know that I actually have a TM of Electro Ball, but I know that uh, I do have a ton of heart skills, so we could just go back to the World Tournament where there is a Move Relearner, so there goes that girl, not really too difficult. Uh... Do we take this this way, I believe? Nope, that is actually wrong. So let's take it back and take it this way instead. And I believe that will lead us to, yep, over here where we can now take on this little boy. How you doing? I want to, like, battle you, dude, or something. Alright, so we got another ace trainer with his awesome blue-haired, blue-haired fantasies. I don't even know. Um, I think I may have just figured out how to battle that little boy, actually, so let's see if we can do it after taking out this Basculin and whatever other Pokemon this guy might throw out. Uh, there is a problem here in that I believe Dank can actually die to this thing. Let's, let's hope that he doesn't, though. Ooh, that is, that was a close one. Uh, let us actually switch back out to Lil B here and use a Hyper Potion on Dank because we need to. We kind of, we kind of need to, so... Anyway, uh, I'm recording this at nighttime. I don't even know when, but the problem with, uh, as you might know, the problem with me recording at nighttime is the whole little coquee sound. And honestly, today I don't even feel like editing it out, so I'm just like, you know what, coquees, you're gonna have to, like, deal with it. So let's switch out to Dank here, and he is gonna send out an Azumarill, so we're gonna stay in on that, and hopefully Leaf Blade that two hit kill, maybe. Yeah, two hit kills, so unfortunately a lot of these Pokemon aren't one hit kills, but two hit kills aren't that bad, and we do a lot of damage, so it's not like the gym leader is actually going to be that difficult, I mean, he, he might be able, oh shoot, Giga Drain, I was waiting for this thing, that is going to be my main stab move right here, Giga Drain, uh, because Leaf Blade is actually special move, and this superior for whatever reason is more of a physical attacker, which is weird, so anyway, I kind of screwed up the puzzle, what we got to do, uh, we got to hop on this way, and one more girl to battle here, and then we can just kind of push the lily pad out of the way and get to the gym leader. So not really too difficult of a puzzle, but it is pretty cool. It's a relaxing gym. I really like it. I, I kind of, I really do. I know that I already mentioned that like a billion times, but uh, let's bolt switch on this gold up here. And I believe, I, th I think we can reach the benchmark level 60, or sorry, 50, uh, because the wild Pokemon around this area are actually super high level. I did a little bit of scouting ahead. And uh, this Skullduck is being a douche, turning us into water type, which doesn't really matter because we kill it anyway. And there goes Mila gaining another level. Starmies are a big problem because they are actually faster than me. Uh, Starmies have been my only problem on this team so far. And this one actually isn't faster than Lil B, which is very good. Uh, but I do believe it will be faster than Deng. So as long as none of them have like Ice Beam or something, we should be good to go. Let's see if we're actually, yep, they are actually faster than us, which is unfortunate because Confuse Ray, uh, confusion in this game is super haxy and it always, it always ends up hitting me. So there we go, Giga Drain takes it out and we get back our HP, which is really nice. So uh, there we go, there's that little girl and now we can actually push this thing down here, uh, that'll allow us to actually do this and now... Alright, I for some reason couldn't figure this out for the longest of time, but to get to the gym leader, bam, there you go. You can get to him, but I am actually going to go heal up, so take the lily pad all the way back through the gym. Kind of like Skyla's gym, where if you get to the end, you could just have a quick way to get back out of it. So it goes all the way through the gym and leads you outside, so let me go and heal up. Alright, so we're back to take on Marlin, and I actually didn't realize, but the lily pad in the middle here actually doesn't reset, so we don't have to redo the whole gym puzzle. We just kind of hop on the middle lily pad here and take our peaceful little stride back towards Marlin here. So, hey, how you doing, dude? We're gonna... Oh, you don't even talk that much. Freaky fish guy, let's take on Shizoi slash Marlin. He is, of course, Mako Tsunami, the freaky fish guy, whatever you want to call him. He's got a weird tan. Uh, you can see that by looking at his feet. And he is actually going to start off with a Caracosta, which it probably would have been a good idea to start off with... Uh, um, Dank here, because Dank is a Grass-type Pokemon, so probably could have taken this out easier, but we're gonna go for a Volt Switch, which doesn't really take it out, but we can actually go for the Switch in on Dank here, and as long as I can survive one hit, I think it's gonna use a Rock-type move, though, so... Oh man, Shell Smash, that is gonna make it his speed rise up by a lot. I don't know if that it... it doesn't max up his speed, but it makes it... 
Oh. I didn't know it would actually. Wow, that is that is a really good move. But uh we're gonna go for a Drig Giga Drain here, sorry. It's still not even faster than me. Wow, you suck. And I think, yep, that takes it out. So doing pretty well so far. Nice off to a nice start. Uh so there we go. Lil B gaining a ton of experience because of that nice uh lucky egg there. The lucky egg really makes training a lot easier. Just put that on one Pokemon, train it up for a while. And you should be able to catch it up to the rest of your team pretty easily. So anyway, he's going to go for Waylord up next, which is, I believe, his ace Pokemon. Um, I Actually, I don't think it is. His ace Pokemon is... Uh, now we'll see in a second, but we're going to go for the Volt Switch here, which actually doesn't even do half damage. I believe if I had an Electro Ball still, uh, we might have been able to do a little more because Electro Ball does more damage depending on how slow the other Pokemon is. And Waylords are really damn slow, so... There it's going to go for Scald, which isn't very effective, but it will... Oh, it didn't burn me. Alright, nice. So we're going to go for a Giga Drain here. I think that's going to leave it down to red HP. If not, then it'll probably kill it. Yep, definitely a kill. I don't know that that critical hit mattered. It probably did, but... Alright, there goes Waylord. So in the end, we're happy about that. Lil B gains some more experience. Get that level 48. And his final Pokemon, and I believe his ace, is going to be Jellicent. Uh, cause all these gym leaders for some reason have three Pokemon. I don't know why they didn't give him more than three, that's... I felt that was kinda dumb. They should've actually... Something that would've been pretty cool was actually made the battles three on three, but uh... Here we got the awesome final Pokemon theme song thing going off, so... da da do ba 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 Take that! Take that Volt Switch to the face. I don't even know why I just did a sound effect, cause the game itself has sound effects already, but... Let's go into Dank here, and have you ever noticed that Jellicent looks like the Pringles Man? Have you ever noticed that? Because uh, I did, and that is pretty awesome, so... Oh man, that burned us. Fortunately for us, though, we are actually a special attacking Pokemon, so we're going to go for a Leaf Seed right here, and we're going to go for a Giga Drain just kind of to secure that kill, and hope that... Oh man, it has Recover. That is really dumb. Ah, uh, but either way, we're gonna go for some Giga Drains, and hopefully, you know, that's gonna restore our own HP, plus the, uh, Leech Seed will keep restoring our HP as well, so that is really good. Uh, so let's just, uh, I guess, uh, Leech Seed is really just healing back what we're losing with burns, so that's pretty good. We're gonna go for some more Giga Drains, and hope that this thing doesn't use Protect, or sorry, Recover. Let's hope that it doesn't. It does have a Citrus Berry, though, which is kind of annoying, so, oh man, is it really gonna try to stall me out with Recover? That is going to be really dumb. Come on, Jellicent, just just die already. Like, you don't have to stall this out, dude. It's going to be really annoying if you do. Okay, so it goes for Ominous Wind, which means it has pretty much sealed its fate because I am faster than it. So one more Giga Drain for the win is about to take it out. And there we go. We have uh, not killed it. Great. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? I thought I thought I could kill it there, but apparently not. That's unfortunate, we're gonna have to stall it out of uh, Giga Drain, or Recover. And I'm actually running out of Giga Drain, which is unfortunate, because... What the hell just happened? What did Cursed Body just do? That really sucks, I think it just disabled- Yep, it just disabled Giga Drain. Are you kidding me? Come on, you little c Okay, no way- Oh my god, I was about to say, no way that we don't kill it this turn. And then of course, the Hyper Potion. One more Leaf Blade. Come on, survive the Ominous Wind. Why am I slower? Are you kidding me? Did this really just happen? That... This really just happened. He literally stalled me through a ton of recovers and then was randomly faster than me. I think it was because he got a, a speed up with, uh, with Ominous Wind there. But after about, I, I can dare to say, five minutes stalling out that Jellicent, we have finally taken him out. And with that, we have defeated Marlin. Wow, I am going to have to edit the crap out of that Jellicent. That was literally a stall battle. And with that, we have gotten ourselves the final badge in the Unova region. This is a new one. It's it's some kind of water droplet badge. And pop that in our handy-dandy badge case. And there we go. We've got ourselves all the badges in the Unova region now. He's also going to give us TM55, which is Scald. It's a pretty good water-type move, which will actually also cause a burn to the foe. What the hell, Marlin? What? Okay, uh... See you later then, pal. I am gonna head out of this gym. That was really crazy, but... I am gonna head out of here, and I believe next time we will have the main Team Plasma events, because... I didn't think that Jellicent would take so long, but that took up the whole episode. So let's head out of here, 
and see if anything is going on with Tommy. Yep, I thought so. How are you doing, Tommy? What is going on? Alright. Oh, hey, Marlin. I thought you, like, jumped out of the back of your gym there, but somehow you're, like, in the front now, which is really weird, but... They're probably gonna tell us about the whole Team Plasma stuff going on, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I am gonna probably leave it right here, and next episode we'll probably be doing all of that shenanigans, so... See you guys then.